Welcome back. A, a small act of kindness can go a long way. Think Kindness travels across the country speaking to students of all ages about kindness, a kindness and the importance of encouraging others. Jamie Hayes has a closer look at how the group changes young students. How can you change the world when there's so much to change? Think Kindness founder Brian Williams speaks to thousands of children every year in hopes of teaching them that each act of kindness, no matter how small, has a ripple effect that helps make the world a better place. Williams believes teaching children the act of kindness at a young age can help bring the school and the community together. In schools, what we notice is that um, it brings a more school inclusive culture, uh, drops bully related incidences in schools without us ever mentioning the word bully. Williams gives students he speaks to a massive kindness challenge. Their goal is to give out as many acts of kindness as they can in just 15 days. The theme is you matter. So the goal is to make sure that every person knows that they matter in the community. By doing that, they're embracing everybody's differences, all the diversity within their school and saying, hey, all of us can come together as a school and together we can make a big difference. William helped Billinghurst with their first act of kindness by giving a huge thank you to their custodians. This is our job. It's what we do. We take care of the kids. You know, this is the future. And, you know, we've, we've got to set example for them. It's just like they've done so much for our school and normally custodians are just overlooked and not thanked enough. But it was really nice to be able to thank them and let them know that they're appreciated. Williams has been visiting Billinghurst for the last four years and the staff there says the more the Think Kindness crew visits, the more they see their students grow. You start to see those changes where we stop and we think kindness. We really do think what is the nicest thing we could do here. Covering the story, Jamie Hayes, Channel 2 News. <laughs> That's pretty cool. By, by the way, this is neat as well. CBS Sunday Morning was at those assemblies today, and that special will, will air across the nation coming up this Sunday at 7 a.m., December 24th. And to help spread a little